Hi all, Arpit Singh Gautam this side. I think there were some issues with my instance during the Get Your Linux One System Ready session. So uh, I thought I should create a new video on it because I uh, or most of you will have error when signing up. So here's the video. Uh, for those people who are signing up for the first time, you will know uh, you will need to go and register for it. The event code is SSF23. Since I've already signed in, I uh, uh, since I've already registered, I'm going to directly sign in. So this is the homepage of the Linux on Community Cloud. You can go to Manage Instance. Uh, since uh, this is your first time, you need to go to Manage Instance, then go to your Manage SSH key pairs, which is below your ID. Here you will need to create a new SSH key pair. You can name it anything. I have already created one, naming it IBM Z Datathon. And once you create the file, a file is also going to get downloaded. For example, ibmcdatathon.pem, the name of your key and the uh, .pem. So uh, you have created a SSH pair. Now you can go back to your manage instance and create a new uh, instance. I've already created one, but I will show you how you can create for uh, the instance. You can name it whatever you want. You need to select an Ubuntu image, the flavor and the SSH uh, key pair which is uh, the IBMC datathon for me so once you create it uh, uh, the a new instance will be created it will take some time for it to get activated which was the issue during the session as we didn't had that much time for me to wait for the uh, uh, instance to get activated once you once your uh, instance is activated it will create it will provide you the IP address now I think I already showed you uh, for the Mac users now you have the ID you can directly go ahead with uh, this part uh, where was it yeah for Mac OS now you can directly go ahead with this part opening the secure shell connection and moving ahead but for the Windows users you will need to first download putty and create an account on that uh, by uh, account I mean create a connection on that so you can just go here uh, the uh, Mac OS users you can just skip this part this is the PDF file I was talking about you can download it from here and uh, uh, downloading the uh, party you can download the latest version this is I think the link has changed you can just uh, search on net party and it will uh, you can download from there once you have downloaded party you can open the generator so uh, gen you can open the uh, party key generator here you will need to go to uh, where is it you need to load because you have already uh, downloaded the SSH key value pair you are going to load it here uh, that is uh, IBMC datathon dot PEM uh, this is under this I have already created you can ignore this you need to download the PEM uh, you need to open the PEM file which you have downloaded when creating the SSH key pair so successfully imported foreign key uh, you can follow along in the PDF also as you can see that uh, this is the same value so we have successfully uh, like uh, down uh, open the SSH key value here now we can go and give a key phrase this is actually a password which we will be using later on so you can give it anything you like and now we can directly save it we can save the private key as IBMC data on video okay so yep the putty key generation work here is done we can now go to putty and here we need to enter the host name and ip address this is the session so for this we can go back to our linux one instance and once your instance is activated you can see the ip address here so this is the same which we need to enter the ip address host name or ip address so you can enter your ip address here that's done now uh, you can go to connections SSH which you need because you need to open for the authentication you, you need to open your uh, you need to use the credentials which you downloaded the SSH key value pair so uh, and you created the key using the putty key generation so you can uh, private key for authentication you can choose this and the one we created just now which is IBM Z datathon video this was a private key we created using the putty uh, key generation that's done and one more thing we need to do is go to the connection data and you can enter here Linux which is the default name Linux one 
So once that's done, I think I have followed along here. Yep, that we did that. We did that. Linux one. We also created the host name. Uh, the uh, IP address. We have also did that. Now we can save it. So since you don't want to open it again and again, you can save your uh, session here. You can save this session. Save session. You can name it. So you can save the session now you can directly just open it once you open it you will get you may get uh, uh, acknowledge so you can acknowledge the security key this is nothing to be worried about so you can just accept it now it will ask the paraphrase which you created up here the paraphrase that you created in the key generator it will ask that you need to enter the paraphrase that you generated here so Yep, now you are in. You are uh, inside the IBM Linux one instance. Now we need to create a Ubuntu. Uh, we need to create a. Uh, uh, we need to uh, create a Docker. Uh, Docker instance. Yep. So now you have opened the SSH connection. So now for the uh, Mac OS and Linux, uh, for the Mac OS and Windows, from here onwards you both can follow together. Uh, for this is for the Linux only. And after this now, you need to download docker on the OS, so we can just go right click, once you right click it automatic, automatically writes, you don't need to write at all. So it will just download the docker on it with the latest, uh, like the latest docker installer. And it takes some time because uh, uh, it's a big large file, so uh, I'm going to skip this part for you guys. So yep, it's done, we have downloaded the latest docker. And we need to now create a user on it. So we can just uh, from here onward, you can just keep copying, pasting the commands, and it will work out. But uh, let me just take you through this. You create a new uh, user for yourself. Now that's created. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, start the Docker. So uh, doc Docker. Uh, the next thing you need to do is start the Docker service and refresh the bash session. So you can just. Uh, Keep following the commands. That's all. Ah, I think uh, I forgot to type S in the start of this. Yep. So that's it. It started now. I can just uh, use the exact bash to restart it or refresh it. Yep, that's done. So now we will be starting the Jupyter Lab container on the port three four eight. So for this we can just go to the login uh, here you can uh, for the login in you can use the password uh. so we have set up our docker with user id on the linux one instance now we can just start with the jupyter lab we can uh, log in i think we have already created so now we can just log in okay so yep the password the password for this is what uh, uh, Alex showed on his slide which is uh, capital L and UX 0 instead uh, instead of 1 we have 0 remember that Linux 1 okay this is the password I'm going to type that here and one more thing the uh, okay I think the password was wrong let me try again L I N U X instead of zero we are going to use oops, uh, the password is wrong so it reset nope. so since we have set up our uh, since we have set up our docker now we can start with the for the jupyter lab the step 5 on the port 3888 for this you can just follow along the steps again like I am doing first you need to log into your specific ID which is uh, the password for this is uh, the one that Alex showed in the slide which is capital L I N U X 0 in, in, instead of 1 and then capital N E the password is L I N U X instead of o we are going to use zero capital n capital e this is a password 
and enter since uh, we have logged in successfully now we can pull the latest container image for this we can just do this it will take some time also pulling the latest container image as you can see downloading it is going to download all of this once that done you are almost to the end line you have almost completed setting up your uh, Jupyter lab uh, let me just skip this part so we have pulled down the latest container image now we are going to start with starting the Jupyter lab container for this we can just copy this one what is this doing we are actually creating a shared space here for you specifically so done that and now we can directly run this here you can uh, you need to select your token uh, the token you will give here is the token you will use on the server uh, on the like uh, the port which you are creating the uh, your Jupyter notebook on the port you will use this password to get access to your specific notebook so I am going to give it 658371 let's go with that and done that's it now you can directly go to the URL here this URL don't get confused with what you need to enter here this is nothing but your IP address of the instance so you can just go to the web paste your instance IP address the port is 38888 38888 that's all it may take some time to open for the first time when you are opening for the first time and you will get an error about this but uh, you need to go ahead with the website yep so this is the server you can enter the password or token which you created right now uh, for me I, I used 658371 login now you are inside the Jupyter notebook you have created that just remember that in the background this will keep on running do not close this because once you close it this your instance will get closed so keep that running in the background and since you have saved your uh, the ID which you are using the IBM 3 data so since you have saved it so you don't need to follow up all the prior steps before opening Linux one you can from the next time if you're opening for the second time you just need to follow this one specific code you don't need to follow up with any of these you can just follow this code open the docker in this and yep so it keeps loading you can just go and reload it sometimes that's work never blank page just reload it yep that's it so run these files so these are the uh, like demo uh, demo notebooks you can run them if you want the ml instance in comparison to google notebooks is very fast so that's really good you can run almost as twice or thrice the speed of t4 gpu which is available in the uh, google collab you can run all it will take some time but it is much faster if you compare the speed with google collab it's much faster see it's almost already done then this is matplot is building okay it's installing the uh, matplotlib yep it's done 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 yeah it's already completed all of it so it's really fast in comparison to collab there's a benefit of this and you can if you want to upload a file you can upload using here so that's it all I think this will help you resolve any issues you are getting and the confusion you had during the workshop thank you